Hello, I'm John and I'm a field sales engineer with Omron. Welcome to this Omron Tech Talk. During this video, I'll cover the basic configuration of the robot setting tool. This tool can be used to create a pick and place application where the robot movement is controlled by a directly connected FH or FHV vision controller. The FHV takes an image, finds a workpiece, and following a calibration process, can send a move command to the robot containing the world coordinates of the workpiece. This is achieved over TCP communication. In this video, I'll use ACE 3.8. We have an FHV7H C050, remote operating tool, and of course, the robot setting tool. The robot setting tool we can select a manufacturer robot and pick an Omron Adept 6 axis. We select the application type. Is it a pick, pick and place, or a pick with grip correction and a place, which is what I've selected. And then we select the camera position. So is the camera in a fixed position for the pick and the place, or is it on the hand, meaning is it mounted on the robot itself? So we have the various combinations here. I'll choose uh, pick fixed and place fixed. We have a path then for our application. So once we output the, the uh, hit the output button, it'll generate two folders containing two applications, one for the FH and one for the robot. So we switch over to ACE, start an application to a controller. This is the IP address of this laptop. We'll work in emulation mode. Say OK. And we'd like to select a robot for the application. <clears throat> so we'll say a Viper 650 installed robot. And next. Okay, so here's our here's our robot. Now we'll load the FH application. So I have a connection to the FHV using this remote tool. So if I go to Tools, Copy Configuration, load the application generated by the robot setting tool which is here, say OK, execute that. OK, so we're going to have to restart the controller. So I'll pause the video while the uh, FHV reboots. OK, so the FHV has rebooted, but by default it installs an FH camera in the system. So we'll go and put in an FHV. FHV insert okay so as you see um, the application generates a number of custom dialogues so get the position of the robot and with robot operation we can jog the robot so we need to connect the two systems so we flick back to ACE and it, in ACE, we have to load the application, so user modules, right click load files, we'll go to product information, inspection, robot connection, information. So here's the, um, the folders that uh, were generated by the, the tool. There's two applications in here. We'll say OK. And now we have two groups of programs. This FH setup main contains the connection details. So the ACE will connect to the FH as a, as a client. So that should be the IP address of the camera, which is 10.5.6.100, and the port is 9.8.7.6. So we go and run that application. In task zero, 
we connect it to the FH. So go back to go back to the FH V. So we should be able to get the current position of the robots, which we can. And in robot operation, we it opens up a dialog. Uh, this is the jogging X and Y and etc. We go edit. We can put in the distance per jog command. So let's increase that, say, to 50 millimeters. Uh, rotation, let's say, 10 degrees. And speed is a percentage, say, 30%. OK, say OK. So each time we click this in X or Y or Z or whatever, we will get that movement of 50 millimeters at 30 percent speed. It's not a continuous move, so it's a, a continuous jog. It's a uh, it's a staged jog. So if we click back here, go to visualize, and then um, we can see the the robot moving. So um, the ro robot reference positions, um, which will be the, uh, the position the robot moves to when an image has been, been taken, the workpiece location, the robot grip position, and the robot approach distance. I'll demonstrate these settings um, in an application I did earlier. I'll just pause the video while I load that application. Okay, so this is the FH application. It's worth looking at the uh, the scenes that are generated by, by the robot setting tool. So there is a pick, a grip correction, and a place scene. We'll have to move between these um, as the application runs. But down the bottom, it also creates three scenes for calibration. So the place, the grip, and the pick must be calibrated. Um, the calibration is done uh, by mounting a plate on the robot, and this plate moves under the camera, where we have a, a workpiece here that can be used as a model in a shape search tree tool. And then the FH gets the robot to move, and the calibration is achieved. We'll cover this uh, later on. In ACE, then, we've imported um, a CAD model representing the robot cell, where we have a camera looking down on the pick position here, another camera, another camera looking up to, for the correction, the grip correction, and then we have the place position. Um, in order to uh, configure the system, then we must define three positions. <clears throat> the first is the camera image position. So we want the um, we want the robot to move out of the way of the camera in order to take a picture. So we can go in and edit that figure, but I've already calculated that figure. We have the robot grip position, and we have an approach distance to the robot grip position. So the robot image position, we can move to that. So that's back there. So we can see that now the, the camera is clear to take a picture. And then we can move back to the grip position. And we also have this approach distance. In order to achieve this communication, then we'll have um, we'll have uh, quite a few macros in the communication macro here, but we won't be able to look at the details of the of the macros. But we can see there's quite a few here that are generated by this 
robot setting tool. In order to understand what's going on under the hood here, so to speak, we can uh, run we can run Wireshark. Go back here and do a say a get get position. Um, we'll do a couple of moves. So move to uh, we'll just get ace up there. Move to uh, the robot image position, and then move back to the grip position. Close that. Go back to it. More shark stuck. This. Um, put in a, a filter. And then go and analyze that and follow that communications stream. And here we can see um, the the red here is the source is the uh, the camera to the robot and so there's these RCMD robot commands 13 is looking for the version of the program running on the robot or CMD 12 is the get signal which actually causes the robot here which is 12 is the source so that's the robot sending back the current location of the robot um, or CMD 10 sets the speed of the robot, which is the, whatever speed we've entered in as the jog speed uh, from earlier on. And then robot command 100 is a command to move. And again, we'd have to put in the, well, the FH puts in the, the, the uh, world coordinates. And then once the robot has moved, it returns a message with the actual position of the robot. Okay, so um, that's it for now. Next video we'll cover the calibration. Um, have a nice day.